the latest confrontations between Israeli forces and Palestinians near the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound in occupied East Jerusalem. Sunday was the first day since the beginning of the Jewish Passover celebrations when non-Muslims could visit the compound. Hundreds of Jews did so, with Israeli forces guarding them. Neither were welcome. We were forced out of the Al-Aqsa Mosque after the dawn prayer. Then settlers started to enter. After, we saw two groups of them. We started to chant and the police tried to detain me. Israeli police said that Palestinians had gathered stones and put up barricades to block the Jewish groups from arriving and that they removed protesters to restore order. The Palestinian Red Crescent reported injuries to 10 people. The Al-Aqsa Mosque compound is Islam's third holiest place. It's also revered by Jews as the site of the original temple. And along with tourists, national Zionists visit it regularly. Those visits are always a source of tension, but especially this year, with the Muslim holy month of Ramadan and Passover coinciding. What's also added to the tension is a small extremist Jewish group calling for sacrifices in the Al-Aqsa compound during Passover. Now that's a call that they make every year. It's something that the Israeli government bans every year, including this one. But this time around, it's got more attention from Palestinians who are worried that it might actually happen. Israel captured East Jerusalem, where the Al-Aqsa compound is located, in the 1967 war, an occupation that's been a source of anguish for Palestinians since. What happened today is a crime because we can't enjoy our prayers, we can't enjoy our worship, our freedom, our holy sites, and we can't feel safe anymore, even in the holy sites we've been coming to since we were young children, and that's because of the occupation. Israeli forces also arrested two Palestinians for throwing rocks at buses with Jewish passengers heading to the old city. Some were injured only adding to the tension here. John Holman, Al Jazeera, occupied East Jerusalem.